the Helen Sussman Foundation has written to the Portfolio Committee on Police requesting the suspension of the process to appoint a new executive director of the IPID. Now this is pending a Supreme Court of Appeal ruling on whether the minister and the committee are permitted to renew the tenure of the IPID head. In a constitutional court ruling back in 2016, the court found that the suspension, disciplining and removal of the person in this position should be subject to parliamentary oversight and not unilaterally decided by the minister. Now, the Helen Sussman Foundation is fighting for greater independence for IPID. Legal counsel for the foundation, Anton van Dalsen, joins us now on the AM Report to unpack the story. Anton, good morning. Thanks very much for your time on the AM Report. I mean, as soon as we hear the, the, the sentence, the police minister has nominated this person for the position of uh, uh, IPID head, immediately alarm bells go off. Good morning, yes. Um, the point is, at the moment, it's not clear at all whether the post is actually vacant. And I need to give you a little bit of background uh, to that. About a, a little bit more than a year ago, um, an agreement was reached between the Minister of Police, the Portfolio Committee of Police in Parliament, and IPID, that the Minister would uh, send through um, the, the suggestion to the Portfolio Committee that the term of office of the current sitting head of IPED, Robert McBride, uh, should not be renewed after the initial five years because the Act provides for an initial five-year period and then an extension of five years. Um, they all agreed to this. It was made an order of court, and this is all in conflict with existing constitutional court judgments which say that if you are a political actor, uh, you are not allowed to make a decision on the renewal or, or uh, anything to do with sensitive uh, posts that may be politically sensitive, as for instance, the head of IPED. Um, and we took this matter then on appeal and we are awaiting a hearing in the Supreme Court of Appeal in Bloemfontein on this issue. So uh, if the court, um, gives us the order that we are asking for, and that is that the, the um, minister and the portfolio committee were not permitted to get involved in this because they are political actors, then uh, Robert McGride is still in the post. And therefore, the minister cannot now appoint somebody to fill that post if it's already taken. But it hasn't been decided yet whether Robert McGride's tenure would be extended, correct? Well, the, the um, minister suggested to the portfolio committee in parliament that it not be extended, and the Portfolio Committee agreed to that. Mm. So j just uh, explain this to us, Anton. In May this year, the Committee in Parliament actually gave the Minister a, a deadline of three months in which to appoint a new Executive Director of, of IPED. So, yes. I mean, it still comes down to the Minister making that appointment. Um, the thing is, the Act at the moment, as it is, um, gives the Minister the, the right to nominate somebody who is then um, a, a appointed or agreed to by the Portfolio Committee. But the point is that uh, it is not clear at all at the moment whether the post is actually vacant. And we are surprised that the Minister and the Portfolio Committee uh, are involved in all these matters because they are respondents in the case, which has not yet been heard in Bloemfontein in the Supreme Court of Appeal. One would have assumed that they were aware of this, but they are making as if they don't know anything about it. I mean, what do we make of that? Do we, do we read that with suspicion? Because surely, as you say, they, they would know, but they would be aware of this. Well, one would assume that they would be aware of it. I don't know. Uh, it's difficult to say. Uh, it, it may be that they've forgotten about it. I, 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 can't, I cannot give you uh, an answer on that because I just don't know. Well, well, Anton, let's talk about the issue around the minister, the police minister, uh, nominating someone to this position at IPED. I mean, it's, it's crucial. We know that IPED maintain its distance from the SAPS, given uh, the mandate of IPED. So I, I know that there is oversight in terms of the portfolio committee then uh, taking that nomination and making a final decision. But should the minister of police be involved in this decision in any way? I think a much better solution would be, and this is something that one has seen growing in the last year, uh, to take, for instance, the head of the NPA, 
was appointed after a panel was appointed by the president to interview candidates and then for them for the panel to um, propose a limited number of candidates to the president who then makes the decision. I think a process like that would be far better um, as suited to something as politically sensitive as the head of IPED for a panel to be constituted to interview um, interested parties and then to make a recommendation and for this all to be completely transparent. And, and the reason for this, uh, for our viewers who, you know, might not understand this position uh, as executive director of IPED, the person in this position has a whole range of responsibilities, including going to the NPA with matters, uh, to take up matters of criminal prosecution uh, concerning the police. Exactly. And uh, to put it in everyday language, IPAD is really the watchdog yeah. to keep an eye uh, on the fact on uh, whether the police is acting, with, uh, is playing within the rules, uh, is sticking to, to, to the relative legislation and rules. Uh, it's a very important position. Yeah. So the Helen Sussman Foundation has now written to the Portfolio Committee uh, on police. Any, first, perhaps, just tell us what that letter entailed and any responses yet? Well, we, we draw the minister and the portfolio committee's attention to the fact that this appeal is still pending and that they, in effect, they are therefore not allowed to make any decision while this uh, decision is pending. And uh, if they do go ahead, that uh, we will take further legal measures to, to prevent that. Mm. Um, we have not had a, a response. The, uh, we only became aware of this uh, on Monday the letter was sent off on Tuesday morning, so, uh, but we assumed that they would have seen it. Uh, it's received substantial press coverage. Yeah. So uh, the assumption is that they do know about it and that they will uh, take a step back and await the Supreme Court of Appeals decision. All right. Well, that is a developing story that we will certainly continue to track here on the AM report. Anton, thanks very much for your time. Uh, Anton is from the Helen Sussman uh, Foundation, and this is essentially a fight for the greater independence of this important police watchdog body, the IPID.